everyone, today's video is going to be about our new builder gel collection. It's a soak off builder gel and I'm going to be showing you swatches and also demonstrations on how to apply them in different ways. There are five colours in our builder gel collection. Cover beige, sheer pink, cover pink, cover rose and crystal clear. Firstly I'm going to show you how to do a quick overlay using thin layers of builder gel using our cover beige. So apply your first coat and then cure on the lamp for 30 seconds. Nail Can Be Builder Gel is a self leveling so you don't need to spend too much time fiddling about with it, it will just level itself out before you pop it in the lamp. Now I'm going to apply a second coat and cure it again in the lamp for 30 seconds. All of our soak off builder gels need a top coat, so once you have finished your second coat and it's cured, apply a layer of top coat and then cure it in the lamp again for 30 seconds. You can use Nail Can No Wipe Top Coat if you would like a shiny finish or you could use our Velvet Matte Top Coat as well if you'd like a matte finish. And here is our finished swatch, it is such a lovely colour. Cover beige would make a beautiful bridal nail and it would also look lovely if your clients aren't allowed to have bright colours for work. It's a beautiful nude. Next up we have Cover Pink and I'm going to be showing you how to apply this in a slightly different way. I'm going to be showing you the maximum thickness that you should use when using Builder Gel. If you apply it any thicker than I'm showing you in this clip, then you will find that it won't cure properly, so make sure not to apply it too thick. can see here if you're using it for an overlay and you apply a slightly thicker coat you can get away with just one coat. However for the purpose of this video and showing you what they look like with two coats I'm going to carry on and apply the second coat of polish after curing this one for 30 seconds in the lamp. It's really important to remember not to apply the builder gel any thicker than this. If you're encapsulating for example it is better to use multiple thinner layers. The main purpose of this is so that the gel cures evenly all the way through. Once you've cured the second layer for 30 seconds in the lamp, it's time to apply the top coat. Once you have finished applying your top coat, pop it back in the lamp for 30 seconds. As you can see from how we've applied cover pink, when you apply thicker layers, you get a much more opaque look. The same thing would happen with both cover beige and cover rose. The next colour that I'm going to be showing you is sheer pink, which is in my opinion the most versatile out of the colours. Sheer pink is the perfect French manicure colour and it is also beautiful if you want a natural look. Once you have applied your first layer, cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Sheer pink is also the perfect builder gel colour for hiding any imperfections within the natural nail. If you have any clients that aren't allowed to have bright gel polish at work, then this would be a perfect way to create a natural nail. You can use either non-work top coat or velvet matte at the end to give two completely different finishes. Once you have finished applying your second coat, cure it again in the lamp for 30 seconds. Now you can apply your non-work top coat or velvet matte depending on what your client prefers. I personally prefer velvet matte with this look but to keep them all the same I am going to be using non-work top coat throughout the video. This is the finished swatch after being in the lamp for 30 seconds with non-work top coat. To turn this nail into a French manicure, what I would do is use our artisan white gel paint and create a smile line at the bottom and then top coat again over the top. Now it is time for Crystal Clear, our most amazing builder gel. It is absolutely phenomenal and can be used in so many different ways. So here I'm applying one coat and then curing it in a lamp for 30 seconds. You can use it to encapsulate glitter, you can use it to sculpt with, all of the colours you can sculpt with. 
I'm just going to pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds and then apply another coat. Look how clear it is, it is literally like glass. There are many different ways you can use crystal clear builder gel to encapsulate glitter. What I would do is place glitter into the uncured first layer before curing and then at this layer I would do a thin coat just to just to make sure that the glitter was all set and then I would go back again after that was cured and do one more layer to just cap the glitter in. As you can see crystal clear is completely see-through so it would be perfect to encapsulate glitter into. I'm just going to apply one layer of non-wet top coat now and then cure it in the lamp again for 30 seconds. Crystal clear would be absolutely perfect to use if you wanted to use um, glass gel polish to create jelly nails such as our Poseidon glass collection or our divination glass collection. Last but certainly not least, I will be showing you the stunning cover rose. I absolutely love how cover rose doubles up as not only a builder gel but also a beautiful gel colour. I use this frequently on my clients and I love the way that it self levels and gives such a pretty finish. you've applied your first coat pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds now apply your second coat and then pop it back in the lamp for another 30 seconds now you can apply your non wet top coat and pop it back in the lamp for 30 seconds to complete your nail Here is our finished swatch for cover rose. I think this would look amazing with some foils on top. All of our builder gels give a beautiful finish either on their own or underneath gel polish colours. You can buy them individually or you can buy them in our starter kit which includes one of each colour. It also includes a nail prep, a non wet top coat, a 100-180 grip file and a 180-240 grip file. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.